What's going on YouTube? Clay all back again with another Final Fantasy Brave XVS video and in today's video we're doing that big awesome 11 rainbow guaranteed pull with the STMR Moogle and we're going to get down to the tickets that we got from the anniversary and talk a little bit about how this anniversary is starting. Let's get into it. All right, guys, before we get all to the great pools, I wanted to talk a bit about the item exchange for the, like the past events that we're going to be able to do daily with these tickets. Uh, first off, you have to go to King Mog to exchange them. So yes, they are going on. Make sure you're doing that dungeon daily to get your tickets to exchange for these items. The bad part is there is no Moogle charm. It looks like it's only FFBE original events. Uh, has nothing to do, sadly, with any of the events that had, they call them collaborations with like FF7, FF15 for the Moogle charm, etc. So if you miss the Moogle charm, sadly this is not the answer for getting it back uh, i really wish it was but it's not gonna be but let's talk about uh items that i think you should pick up i think you guys should pick up the producer's jacket 100 percent uh it, it's it's draw attacks 20 percent i use it k producer jacket uh focus attention is what gives you 20 percent draw attack i use that in all of my evade draw attack builds uh it's mostly like i have on sylvie for example or something like that giving you 20 percent chance of being targeted is very big when you're trying to do the whole evade thing another item that kind of helps you out with that is not as good as the moogle charm sadly is the wrapped gift it's going to give you that distancing bright effect increased chance of being targeted 20 percent it's not the 50 percent with moogle charm but it will help out other than that you guys can be kind of up on your own on what you want to get they have concealing cloth in here which gives you 50 percent chance of uh a 50% decreased chance of being targeted with camouflage, but then also lets you to hide in battle, so that could be something big, maybe for some cheesy strategies when it comes to some trials. You may want to have your hands on that. Um, there's some evade items, like I said, with the eye patch or the... Uh, the like dragon uh, staff or whatever, those are great. And then other than that, you're going to be going for resistance. So you want all that elemental resist you can get your hands on. There are plenty of items to choose from, and you do get a, a bit of these tickets to go through. So make sure you pick up anything you're missing, and then maybe get doubles of some of the things you already have that you think are valuable. So with that, we're going to move on to some of the anniversary tickets, pools. So the anniversary is not just about getting cool items. Obviously, we want to do our pulls, and they ended up giving us... I ended up getting four of these tickets. It's depending on your uh, actual in-game days logged in, and they're spreading this out over the different banners as we've talked about in the past video. This is going to be the first one we get our hands on. But I've been hearing not-so-great things about this. I've been hearing that you can get all blue. People have been getting all blue on their anniversary tickets, which to me is just absolutely insanely bad i don't think that's good at all now some people get lucky for example but to not even guarantee a yellow on what should be anniversary tickets kind of starts off the anniversary with a bad taste in your mouth for players out there that get really unlucky so for that i'm not too excited uh i wish there had been some kind of guaranteed rainbow on each of these i know they're 10 pulls uh and i end up getting four here and we're gonna get multiple as we move on it's supposed to be a three-part anniversary as they talked about with the stuff going on in the world delaying everything however uh, it kind of just feels wrong to me and off. I just hate to hear those stories about people pulling badly. But we're going to go and do our pulls and hope to get lucky. Today, even with the 11 pull, my goal is to walk out of here with one. That's right, one 10-2 Riku. I still don't have one. I have her prism. So that's what we're going to be going for today. So we're going to go ahead and hit our tickets up and see what the anniversary has to offer right now. Uh, again, I really hope the anniversary... Uh, see, it starts out with a blue. See, So we'll see how this works out. People have been telling me horror stories of all blues. Maybe that's... Uh, Okay, so I end up getting a rainbow. Did I end up getting a rainbow? Riku. Oh, Sarah. So it was a new unit for me. So I get up a little bit uh, more lucky than what we've been hearing. I get Sarah, which is awesome. A totally new unit. Not all blue for me. Got another yellow there. Sarah, that's kind of cool. I wasn't even expecting her. And then Murphus. Of course, Murphus is at the end. Uh, so I ended up getting a rainbow and it was a new unit. Not too bad for me. Uh, but see, not everybody's going to be doing, you know, getting that as well. I just wish they would have put guaranteed rainbows on these guys. So starting off with the blue again, let's see what happens here. Riku, 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 anniversary Riku. I don't even know if Riku's in this pool, actually. I got a lot of, uh... oh, Sir Iron Tail Fratley. Look at Fratley over here. Didn't have him yet. But of course, they have Lati in the pool. Lati is in the pool. I don't know if Riku's in this first anniversary pool. That's something you guys can let me know in the comments below. First off, let me know how many tickets you have. I didn't look at the drop rates or anything on this because it is a curated, uh, curated, excuse me, five-star pool. I wonder if Riku's even in these tickets or she'll be in another one. I, I think I saw her in a picture in another one. So possibly not even likely for me to get uh, her here. But I bet Lottie's in every pool. Every one of them I bet she's in. Right, let's see what happens here. Okay, a couple, a couple of gold. 
Let's see. I can't even complain because I ended up getting a rainbow. I actually thought these were going to be astronomically terrible. Uh, and the other ones have been, but at least the first one I ended up getting one rainbow. So that's a plus. Then we have the blue starting out here again. Let's see if any of them change. <laughs> Double Lottie. And this is the part I'm talking about, about an anniversary pool. How in the world, Gumi, Square Enix, do you give anniversary tickets that can end up looking like this? It's the anniversary, for God's sake. Now, again, it's supposed to be a three-part session. It's supposed to be more stuff coming on the way. They've already given us 5,000 lapis, for example. Uh, they've given us some of these tickets. They'll be giving more, and who knows what other goodies they have in store. But it really sucks to start out, start out like this. You know what I mean? What if you had all of your pools look like this? Like, I've heard people just get all pools, all the blues. It's pretty bad. But you know what's not bad? Getting all rainbows. That's where we're going to move on to the paid lapis. Uh, 11 rainbow summon. All right, guys, so as part of the anniversary or the next era, they did have this 11-7 for 10,000. We're used to getting that now. It's always exciting to do. But as a bonus, they're throwing in a 100% STMR Moogle, making this summon even more valuable than it was before when it was really valuable to begin with. Uh, people are asking me who I'm going to use this STMR Moogle on. My plan is to Thursday pull Stern, make him 7-star, use this Moogle on him immediately for that nice chest piece for LB damage. I'm unsure who you guys are going to use it on, or maybe you save it up for some other unit, but I have checked the drop rates on this i didn't check the other ones but i have checked it for this and yes riku 10-2 is in here the one that we want so that's what we're going for and we're going to see how this turns out here now this is an anniversary pull right all rainbows and sdmr moogle feels like we're getting more and that's what you should really feel like on the anniversary is you get a little bit of extra luck a little bit of guaranteed luck just so you can feel happy about supporting a game for four years you know what i mean that's the way i feel anyway so let's see what we get here gonna be a ton of rainbows popping out They both have blonde hair, and they're tiny. I thought it was her. <laughs> that ain't still pretty cool. Keep going, keep going. These are a lot of you. Tifa, I'm going to need her. Yes. Oh, I hit my mic. Tifa. Okay. Okay, so the, the pool's a little weird, right? Because I didn't get uh, Riku. I don't know how I don't get her. I've spent so much lapis on her. I've done so many of these guaranteed rainbow pools. Um, but we did end up with a bunch of Tifa to help with her Neo Vision coming out, which is fantastic. We ended up getting another Agent Olive, meaning that I just need one more Agent Olive for STMR. And the rest of these units are okay. I, I probably pulled out and net another STMR or something from them. But that's where it's really going to be. I ended up getting two new units in all these summons with Zidane and then Sarah, I think, at the beginning. And then I got two Tifa for her Neo Vision shards. And then I got a... Uh, another agent olive to get close to that stmr for that nice cannon there so overall i think i'm pretty happy with what's going on and i get that stmr and like i talked about i'm pulling on the war of the visions banner to try to get stern to use that stmr one so that's what i'm uh uh mostly excited about this week and this pull right here it actually turned out pretty good i, I was worried there in the beginning when i saw the new it looked like riku but uh we ended up making it out still pretty okay. So hopefully you guys had great pulls as well. Let me know what they are in the comments below. Uh, and hopefully the anniversary starts revving up a little bit more. and doesn't leave a bad taste in people's mouth with all those blues. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with your pulls and how you feel about the anniversary starting off. Or what you expect from an anniversary. Subscribe here for more content. Catch you guys on Thursday on my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash click result for my War of the Visions FFBE pulls. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.